I was, I was just explaining how I always felt a little bit different, you know, because my dad was a very big influence on, on me and my brother about music and how he'd play us songs and would tell us stories at the same time. It's, it's sort of subconscious stuff, you know, you can, you, people ask me what my influences are all the time and if I listed them off you wouldn't necessarily be able to hear them in our music but it's, it's influences in life and you know everything, you know, subconsciously. My dad used to play, this is my brother there, used to play us these songs, for example, Waltz in Black, yeah, Stranglers. which was a B-side, it was a B-side to No More Heroes by The Stranglers, and he played us this song, and it's a fucked up song. What sort of story did he make up? The, the Waltz in Black, yeah, well, listen to the song, and then this, this will make sense. It was this wooden man, right, we lived near a green, this, this green in Richmond, yeah, and it was a nice, lovely green, this wooden man, and he used to come to life at midnight every night, yeah. It was made out of wood, but it'd just be a wooden statue in the day. Then he'd come to life, and he'd be really happy, full of life. He'd be walking through the trees, but then suddenly these rats would come up from the river, and they they chewed him to death. So it was all very dark stuff. <laughs> when we were five fairly, years old, he fucked with our heads. <laughs> yeah. But also, you know, he he used to. He used to tell us so many stories, but you know, films as well. You know, we saw One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest when, when we were, you know, barely conscious, you know, four or five years old. Silent Running, which is a beautiful film. We cried for about six days after watching it. You know, the film Dark Star as well. So it, it's the isolation. Uh, and it's, it's um, you know, the isolation and the human mind dealing with being alone and, and the um, complete sort of... It's very relevant today. The Earth is dying, we've destroyed it, so what they've decided to do is send off... A bit like Noah's Ark as well, you know, mm. they send off loads of plants and animals to space to try and find Keep another planet that will sustain our uh, ecosphere. Um, but but at the end, in the end, what happens is the isolation and the human mind destroys it because they all lose the plot and end up sort of killing each other and freaking out.